So now that our hard-coded query is working, let's see if we can enter in a phrase by the user next. But this is going to present some problems. You notice that when I click in here that our keyboard is hiding our controls. So we need to do something about this, and we also can't dismiss the keyboard either. So I've gone ahead and built some of these functional stubs for you to handle these UI problems, but I'm going to leave the implementations up to you. For this exercise, we'll be completing the search request. So I want you to again check out the most recent Git branch and then follow these steps. First, you'll want to add and remove the tap recognizer to handle dismissing the keyboard. And the reason we have the add and remove here is because we'll want to add the tap recognizer when the view appears, and then when it disappears, we'll want to remove the tap recognizer. And remember, this is what helps us when the keyboard comes up and we have no way of dismissing it, we'll tap and it'll slide back down. Then you'll want to implement and correctly call each of the functional stubs for handling the UI issues. And recall that the UI issues are when the keyboard comes up, it blocks the underlying controls so we can't see what we're typing. So we want to shift the whole view up so that our controls will be up here and we can see. And then when the keyboard dismisses, we'll shift everything back down. And then finally, you want to replace the hard-coded search phrase with the contents of the phrase text field here. When you're done, check the box.